And today we have a quick little video for you guys. Um, out of nowhere, Sony and Amazon have just announced that for the PlayStation 3, you guys can get the Amazon Video On Demand app. And in the quick video, we're going to show you guys how you can download it and how you guys can access it. Now, for those who are not aware, uh, Amazon Prime is an $80 program where Amazon allows you to get two-day shipping on most items and free streaming of select TV shows and uh, movies. Now, for those who don't have Amazon Prime, you guys can still use the Amazon app and uh, purchase individual episodes and shows, you know, for $1.99, $2.99, or the, t or the movie itself for $14, $15, $20, depending on what that rate is. But for those who do have Amazon Prime, there are select videos and shows that you guys can stream, and you guys can stream them for free. That's one of the things that's included in your membership. So now we're going to take a look at where the video app is, how you guys can download it, and how the interface looks for you guys. Okay, so what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna jump in the PlayStation 3 and head over to our uh, TV slash video service category. And you guys are gonna notice that I have the Amazon app here, but it's not uh, downloaded or installed yet. So here we're gonna go ahead and download it, and we'll just do that and fast forward real quick for you guys, and install it away. And now we'll actually launch the application. Now every time you guys get into application, you'll see uh, some kind of video presentation, you know, just something that Amazon's going to show you guys. But more importantly, if you guys look in the center of your screen, there's a register your device category, where once you click on that, you're going to be given a serial code and a URL, and you need to go to that uh, from your computer, take that serial code and register it with your Amazon account, and if you don't have one, you'll need to then sign up for one. Now here I'm going to launch the application one more time and you guys are going to notice again the video will be slightly different over here. And the thing that you guys are going to notice now is uh, that registration screen is going to be gone and instead it's going to be a placeholder for your video library and we'll get to that in just a sec. But from here on uh, really your main navigation is right on top for uh, Prime Instant Videos, Movies and then uh, TV Shows. And basically in the center, you guys are going to have the content that Amazon is pushing you. So, you know, whether it's popular movies, uh, prime content, or if you're watching a series, potentially the next episode within that. Now, if we go to uh, your video library, this is actually where any shows that you've previously purchased from Amazon are going to be available for you to uh, instantly stream again, or if you need to uh, purchase additional uh, episodes of them but that's where uh, that category is gonna be for you. Now the next category that we're gonna have is gonna be our movies tab, where again, once we come here, we're only gonna see movies like top movies, uh, popular genres, editor choice, HD rentals. And so again, those are fairly self-explanatory, so we're gonna go under genres and you guys are gonna see all different kind of categories which will help narrow down uh, the content for you so here I'm gonna go under the sci-fi and fantasy category to see what kind of movies they have and definitely some uh, new releases on here so it's not just older uh, content so for example if we go under uh, Super 8 by one of my favorite directors JJ Abrams here is Super 8 and we're presented with a few different options uh, first of all we can watch the trailer but we can uh, rent it uh, for uh, $3.99 or rent an HD for $4.99, or if we go under view all purchasing options, uh, here we're gonna see some different options, like $14.99 to buy uh, Super 8 in HD, if that's what we want to do. Now the next category that we're gonna take a look at is gonna be uh, TV shows. So here I'm gonna navigate over to the TV show category and jump in, and it's gonna be fairly uh, similar to uh, the movies layout for you guys where there's gonna be some of their uh, big content right up front and then you guys can go editor's choice, most popular uh, TV channels and uh, find content uh, that way. And so for example, in our case, let's go ahead and try TV channels. Once you guys are within the TV channel section, you're gonna notice that you're gonna see most of the major players here like Stars, Showtime, Fox, ABC, CBS, with only HBO missing since uh, they do their own thing. 
but in my case, I'm gonna go ahead and go under Fox and see what they have since they have some of my favorite shows right now, like Fringe and uh, Alcatraz. Right here, we're gonna go navigate over to Alcatraz, go ahead and uh, click on it, and you guys are gonna see they're gonna have all the episodes uh, from this season. And again, it's $1.99 to buy it. And keep in mind with Amazon uh, Instant Video, everything is streamed to you. So even when you purchase it, it's never actually sent to your system to take up hard drive space. It's always being streamed. Now this next category is for Amazon Prime members, which is uh, $79 a year and gets you two day shipping on most Amazon items. But what is Amazon's included with that is access to a lot of uh, instant streaming TV shows and movies where these we don't need to uh, download them or uh, these we don't need to pay for them I should say we can go ahead and automatically stream them without paying anything additional so here I'm gonna go under a TV category go under uh, ABC and for example these are all the shows that I get from ABC and there's plenty more that I can immediately start streaming without paying anything so again I absolutely am a lost fanatic so here if we go ahead and click on lost here are the different uh, episodes and notice it just says watch now. There's no indication that I need to pay anything and I can either pick back up from where I was before or uh, click uh, play from the beginning and it'll immediately start streaming it for us. And here it's testing my connection and here is uh, Lost the Pilot. All right, so here I'm just gonna go ahead and jump out of that video. Now, anytime you guys want, you can push square to go into the main menu, or you can push triangle. You can actually uh, bring up a search menu and start searching. And here I'm gonna search for matrix, but notice at the very top of the screen too, there are automatic search results being displayed right up there as well. So you guys could click on that. But here I'm just gonna look for matrix. Here is a matrix. Again, if we click on it, it's gonna present us with a few different options. And here, all the different options include uh, buying it, renting it, and renting it in uh, HD. And again, obviously these options will differ from movie to movie, depending on the rights uh, that Amazon has to that particular content. But again, you guys, this has just been an overall look for you guys for uh, Amazon Instant Video for the PlayStation 3, which was just released uh, today. As you guys can tell, the app itself is pretty slick, works fairly fast. Again, I have a uh, Time Warner broadband on my end with uh, 5 up and I think 25 or uh, 30 megabits uh, down. And again, I have absolutely no problem streaming it, so I'm not sure how it might be for uh, people with slower speeds like DSL, but on average, I can't imagine it being uh, too bad since Netflix does fairly good for everybody. Uh, the only problem with this app, which is similar with some of the other companies like Netflix, is sometimes the crapshoot of figuring out what's actually available you know for those who have amazon prime and what there isn't uh, i've gone to amazon.com myself logged into my prime account and it's still not a whole lot easier really figuring out what's available and what's not and so far from the movie selection uh it's not too impressive now uh, if you're willing to pay for it i think then you can download more recent stuff but if you're looking to get more free stuff with your prime account there really isn't a whole lot of content, but again, it's just one more option out there. And sometimes, you know, some shows that you might be in love with might be there. Uh, in this case, Lost for me is there, but again, I already own the show, so not a big deal. But again, that's just been Amazon Prime app for you guys uh, for the PlayStation 3. Again, it is a free download and available now for all uh, PS3 users out there. Um, as always, if you guys have discovered anything that we've missed, please feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And remember that you guys can find us all over the web on Facebook, Twitter, and all different kind of places at backslash uh, Sony Rumors. So again, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully we'll have another video for you guys very soon. <laughs>